But instead, after the fall of Adam and Eve, my own beloved son Yeshua offered himself as a redeemer to be born as a human created by only I, Yahweh, supernaturally. Yeshua became like a second Adam with flesh and blood, but as Adam brought sin into the world, my holy blood and Yeshua washed the sins away, and the desire to sin away from all who accepted my gift, I, Yahweh, gave at Calvary. Only the souls before the foundations of the earth, who are loyal to I, Yahweh, and Yeshua, then will accept, love, obey, fight unholiness, and fight Satan and all these abominations now. The souls that were created before the foundations of the earth who follow Lucifer in rebellion against I, Yahweh, and Yahushua, and my host of holy angels were given a choice at that time before the foundation of the earth. But when birth on earth, the choice of the, those souls were already made. The souls that follow Lucifer then have no choice but to follow Satan again on earth and reap what Satan sowed. This is the judgment of man. Salvation was already predestined. The reprobate shall remain reprobate for eternity. Jeremiah 6, 27-30 clearly states, I, Yahweh, call them rejected silver. They are as dross or lead, dead weight. The souls that did not worship and serve by Yahweh before the foundation of the earth will have no desire to serve by Yahweh on earth. Just as the evil Pharaoh, although given a chance, time and again could not repent and turn from evil, because I, Yahweh, hardened his heart, as his soul betrayed me before the foundation of the earth. Now you can understand why Jacob I loved, and Esau I hated. Along with Goliath, Ahab, Jezebel, Judas, Annas, and Sapphira, just to give examples of who were birthed for destruction. The decision they made on earth was already done in heaven when the battle of good versus evil was first fought. That decision of every soul that is born on earth is birthed in every baby born on earth. You walk on top of hell, and although hell was created for Satan and his angels that rebelled against I, Yahweh, I, Yahweh, the creator of your souls, already knew if you would join these in hell, and whether you would make your abode in the lake of fire with Satan, the false prophet, and the anti-messiah, and all of Satan's seed who followed Satan before the foundation of the earth. Not one soul that was created from the foundation of the earth, whose names are already recorded in heaven, will be lost, just as Yahushua stated in the Holy Scriptures. Anyone who does not acknowledge Yahushua as God, Messiah, the only begotten Son of Yahweh, the Father God, Creator of all, made that decision before the foundation of the earth, and their minds and hearts cannot be changed. No matter what religion you claim, only the souls that did not betray my son Yahushua and I, Yahweh, before the foundation of the earth will be saved from hell in the lake of fire. All others are reprobate and shall share in the same fate or are already in hell. Now is the time of salvation. As you read this, there is an anointing unlike any I, Yahweh, have given anyone thus far. Read this aloud and the scales will fall from your eyes. Spiritually, your deaf ears will be opened. You will no longer be able to have a form of godliness with no godliness within, deceiving others, if you hear I, Yahweh, and believe this prophetic message. The decision you have made before you were born on earth will be manifested before all. This is a warning to all good and evil. The souls who are in the battle before the foundation of the earth, who started to fight on the side of holiness against Lucifer and his one-third of angels, and then allowed Lucifer's lies to penetrate their souls. They too betrayed I, Yahweh. They now pay the price for their names are written in the book of the plotted out. Traitors first in heaven and now on earth. These people started out following I, Yahweh and Yeshua, believing the Bible, obeying my commandments, my Torah, and then forsaking all that is holy. These souls were formed and put into a human body and are doomed to reap Satan's reward of hell in the lake of fire. Everyone reading this now, hear this. I, Yahweh, command you to share this with all the people you know, to reassure them not one person whose name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life will worship the beast or accept the mark of the beast. Not one person will I, Yahweh, lose to Satan in his kingdom. Not any who were loyal to I, Yahweh, 
and my son Yehusha in that great battle before the foundation of the earth will go to hell or the lake of fire, just as I, Yahweh, sent my son Yehushua to save my beloved children from the sin brought on by Adam and Eve. I, Yahweh, will once again send my beloved son Yehushua to save my loyal holy children. Look up, children, though the world scoffs and mocks, truly your redemption draweth nigh. Beloved ones, this world is not your home. You are just travelers passing through. Your mansions, treasures, and rewards await you in heaven. Store up not earthly treasures that you cannot take with you, but store them up in heaven. Let your storehouses be full in heaven. So children, as you see this world consumed by I, Yahweh, a God that is a consuming fire, know this, it is the living water, the name and the blood of Yehusha that will protect you from the fire of my wrath. Know this, children. It is only the name and the blood of Yehusha that hides you, and only if you are worshiping, serving Yehusha, and strive to obey. I am Yahweh, and I will not be mocked. California, Phoenix, Arizona, Montana, Canada, and all over the world, you have felt the heat of my wrath one way or the other. Why do you not put your Creator and Savior first in your life and love? Why do you love your homes more than the Creator that gave you your homes and land, wealth, and possessions? Do you not realize how not only did the fires come, but how many lives I spared because of my mercy and love? This is only a sample of what is to come before the Great Tribulation. Get your priorities straight before it's too late. Now this world and people are experiencing labor pains. The earth travails in pain as the ground quakes and shakes before I, Yahweh, birth the great tribulation that will be unlike any other horror yet seen. Not one soul before the foundation of the world who defended I, Yahweh, then will lie for Satan. My great wrath is for my enemies. As it was then, so it shall be again. You who stayed silent in the churches, you who are pew warmers and attend services regularly, you who sing psalms and hymns to I, Yahweh and Yahushua, and you quote holy scriptures, and yet you do not demand your spiritual leaders to speak out or protest against these sinful abominations. You see, those who call themselves bishops, pastors, spiritual leaders, political leaders, and Christian musicians, leading souls astray by not doing anything to protest, not even holding all night prayer in his sessions. Abortion is murder. Homosexuality is an abomination. You who call yourselves mine, call yourselves holy, and yet do not warn others. I hold you accountable as well as your spiritual leaders. You have remained silent too long. You who call yourselves spiritual leaders, but in my eyes are no leader at all. For you sold yourselves to the highest bidder as a common whore as you take the tax-free bribes and allow the government to muzzle you. You became a traitor and a coward. Need I remind you in the book of Revelations where cowards and traitors end up? Beware, congregation, the spirit of the pastor or the spiritual leader is the spirit of the churches and the temples. You with spiritual ears to listen and spiritual eyes to see have been given the gift of discernment. I, Yahweh, now give you the command to speak up now before it's too late and your freedom of speech is completely taken away. Why are my holy people not rallying, boycotting, or protesting loudly when lesbian musicians promote the spirit of homosexuality directed at the youth of this world, with an open mouth kiss between Britney Spears and Madonna, mockingly called the kiss that was felt and heard around this world? Do you not recognize the seed of Satan? Is this what you want your children to become? There is another kiss long ago that felt and heard around this world, and it was when Judas kissed Yahushua on the cheek. So Satan uses a kiss to mock again, and where are the holy people to shout loudly in protest? Where are the holy people I, Yahweh, have blessed abundantly with wealth and possessions of this world, who will help the few remnants like this handmaiden who sounds the trumpet, who will assemble together on this wall? Remember, you will be held accountable for what you do with the blessings, talents, and gifts I, Yahweh, have given you. Satan gives wealth to his servants who are in the sea to deceive the masses of people. 
Where are my holy ones that I abundantly blessed? Why are you not raising up for such a time as this? Why do you not join hands with this ministry and other ministries who I, Yahweh, use as my mouthpieces? Do you not yet understand that Yahweh blessed you with your jobs, with wealth, your possessions and lands, homes? For it will be not used not only for your needs, but for the kingdom of heaven's glory, to speak forth, to fight, to rebuke and warn all that is unholy. I, Yahweh, do not give you wealth, land, and possessions to build your treasures on earth, where fires, floods, earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, volcanoes, and thieves can take away in seconds. I admonish you now to use your income and possessions to bring I, Yahweh, and Yahushua praise, honor, and glory. Build up your treasures not on earth, but in heaven. For I warn you, do you not realize how many are reading this now? Should you make it to heaven, we'll find out in heaven. It will be as though you were bankrupt. Your storehouses and vaults are empty.